Hello everybody, I'm Richard Older and welcome to the channel. If you would be so kind, please make sure, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell over there in the corner so you get notified when I do all this testing. I try to post something up every day so you know what? You don't want to miss out. Today we're talking about one of my very, very common questions I get in comments and emails and posts and on our live feed. And by the way, if you haven't yet, please join the live feed. If you've got questions on the live feed, we've got answers. But one of my most common questions is, Richard, I know you've run it on a 4.8 and you've also run on a 5.3. What would happen if you ran the Truck Norris Cam from Brian Tooley Racing on a 6 liter? That's a really good question. And unfortunately, I have not run that yet, but I'm going to show you something that's very important. I'm going to do what I tell nobody to ever do when they ask me questions and just to guess on the power output. Actually, I'm not going to guess. What I'm going to do is take you down the thought process. I get questions all the time. Richard, what do you think this combination will make? And rather than just guess off the top of my head, I actually do some homework. So what I'll do is they'll give me the specs on the things that they have, and I'll go find something that matches that. Or I might have to find something that's a little bit above that and a little bit below that. That way I know their combination is probably going to make the power in between those two. But I put the effort in, and I'm going to show you what I do. So how much power would a truck Norris cam make on a 6 liter? Well, actually, we can find out. Rather than just guessing, I'm going to take you through step by step how I would go about figuring that out and answering that question for a guy if I didn't have actual dyno results. Obviously, actual dyno results are the best way, but this way is fun and maybe it's second best. Okay, guys, here we go. How are we going to figure out what the Truck Norris can would actually make at a six liter? And again, so that you know, the best way to figure this out is test it. But I'll bet you having dynoed this stuff for the last 30 years or so, I'll be within two or three horsepower. And quite honestly, if you put a cam in that's two or three horsepower different than another cam in your truck or car, you would not be able to tell the difference from behind the wheel. But this is kind of fun, so let's jump right in. And I'm going to show you how I go about figuring out things when I don't have an actual test. But I have lots of other kinds of tests that would lead me to this same kind of conclusion. So what I want to do is we're going to take a look at what the Truck Norris cam did on the 5.3. Then we're going to take a look at what the Sloppy Stage 2 cam did on the 5.3. Then we're going to look at what the Sloppy Stage 2 cam did on the 6.0. And then we will extrapolate <laughs> what the Truck Norris cam would probably do on the 6 liter. I think, I think we'll have a pretty good idea by, by the time all this is over. And there's just a little bit of math, not a lot, so hang in there. So we have our, this was our L33, the aluminum motor that I got from the wrecking yard. And we ran it on the engine dyno first with the camshaft, the stock camshaft that came with the L33. And we ran it with long tube headers, with the Holley, with injectors, and but, but, but stock truck intake manifold and all that. And then ran it with a stock camshaft. And run in that manner, our combination produced 365 horsepower, 364.5, and 389 foot-pounds of torque. To get things started, here's what happened when we put the Truck Norris cam in. Good curve, picked up power everywhere. Slight loss, maybe down below 3,000, as all, although I've mentioned before, this one was run with the Engine 7H headers. The guys from Brian Tooley, when they run their testing, say that they don't see that when they run smaller inch and three quarter headers and the exhaust the way that they run it. So, it's, so that's going to be something in the back of my mind. It'd be interesting for me to try. I just want to see uh, whenever we do it, we normally put these Holly swap headers on. So I want to try it with a different set of headers and see if we see some sort of different configuration down below 3000. But at any rate, when we ran the truck Norris cam, the peak power jumped up to 424 horsepower. Peak torque was up at 415 foot-pounds, which means with the Truck Norris cam, we gained 59 horsepower over the stock cam and 26 foot-pounds of torque if you're registering it at, uh, you know, registering peak to peak, peak torque to peak torque, and peak horsepower to peak horsepower. Elsewhere in the curve, obviously, there were different kinds of gains. So you're thinking, okay, great, but now what it would do on a 6 liter, but before we can get there, we need to take a look at what the Sloppy Stage 2 cam does. So we're going to get rid of our Truck Norris cam. We're going to bring in the Sloppy Stage 2 cam. And like the Truck Norris, the Sloppy Stage 2 added you know, much more power than the stock cam. It did seem to lose more power down low, but that video is already up. We can talk about the discussion later on. Right now, we're just kind of looking at the power peaks. And so with the Sloppy Stage 2, our peak power jumped from 365 horsepower and 389 foot-pounds of torque. With the Sloppy Stage 2, it made a good bit more power, made 441 horsepower 
and then peak torque checked in at 416 foot pounds of torque. So with the sloppy stage two, if we're going peak to peak, the sloppy stage two picked up 76 horsepower and 27 foot pounds of torque because it had one more foot pound of peak torque than the uh, than the truck Norris cam. So now that we're armed with that, we've got a 76 horsepower gain with the sloppy stage two on the 5.3. All we have to do now is kind of look at what that camshaft does on the six liter and then we can kind of extrapolate well this is doing that this is doing that so the other one should do that basically we're going to do exactly what i tell people that they should never do and they should always test so what the heck let's jump right in okay guys now we know what the stock cam and the truck norris cam and the sloppy stage 2 cam did on the l33 5.3 liter let's find out what the stock cam and sloppy stage 2 did on the six liter and there's obviously a change here and it doesn't really matter for what we're doing but the cam that we used in the six liter is not the same cam that we used in the 5.3 liter but we're not looking really at a relative difference what i'm looking for are kind of more the power peaks that we're looking at on the six liter with a sloppy stage two versus the power peak with the sloppy stage two on the five three and then we can kind of adjust since we know once we go over this, we'll have three data points and all we need to do is plug in the last one. So it shouldn't be too hard. So we ran this, this with this motor was way back before we did the big bang stuff with it. This was an LY6. So that means it's a rec port six liter with the LS3 style heads. And we had the factory uh, truck intake manifold on the, the rec port, uh, intake manifold basically it's a duplicate a truck version of the ls3 intake manifold for the rec port head we ran this with a six liter of uh, lq it's either an lq4 or an lq9 cam the later one not the not the small one not the lm7 camshaft so it was the later six liter cam we ran this again with the holly with long tube headers with larger injectors but all the stock components and 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 that camshaft and before we wanted to establish a baseline so that we could run a bunch of other tests i'm going to be doing some other tests on, or other videos on this stuff too on cylinder heads because guys are really interested in that but we ran this thing first with the stock cam and run with our stock six liter cams because the ly6 originally came with vvt we had removed that but run with our fixed cam this thing made 443 horsepower and 467 foot pounds of torque so now let's find out what happened when we put our sloppy stage 2 camshaft in the six liter you can see we got good gains um, the sloppy stage 2 picked power up to about to 512 horsepower so good power gains and peak torque checked in at 490 three foot pounds of torque so it did very well so we saw again the interesting thing though is when we compare the the stock cam to the sloppy stage two on the six liter we got gains of 71 horsepower and 36 foot pounds of torque so we got less of a horsepower gain and more of a torque gain compared to the l33 camshaft test that we did on that smaller displacement motor now, part of the reason for that is obviously we're comparing it to different camshafts. We're, we're not comparing it to the same camshaft on both motors. So we're, we have a different starting point and then our ending point. But here's the thing. So we're looking at a motor with this sloppy stage two cam on the six liter that makes 514 horsepower and 493 foot pounds of torque. We already know from the 5.3 testing that the sloppy stage two and the truck Norris cam made within one foot pound of each other. So it's a pretty good assumption that that's probably going to continue. The sloppy stage two might make a, a, a couple more foot pounds of torque on the bigger motor, but I, I wouldn't bet on it. So if we, if we know that the sloppy stage two made about 17 more horsepower than it did on the 5.3, and we know where the sloppy stage two is on the six liter, we could do some backtracking on our math, and I'll tell you, here's what I think that the sloppy, or what the truck Norris cam would do on this kind of six liter. Uh, six liter with this kind of rec port head and this intake manifold. I honestly think that the, that the truck Norris cam is a 500 horsepower cam on a six liter, on this particular six liter. It's not gonna be that much on a cathedral port headed motor, because we're gonna be starting out quite a bit lower than that in fact i've run stock cathedral port six liters with 317 heads in this kind of camshaft and they're much closer to 400 horsepower 
the Recport heads make an, an awful lot more power than a, than any, a factory a factory Recport head makes an awful lot more power than a factory Cathedral Port head, and so we kind of limit the power output of a Cathedral Port six liter with that cylinder head. So your starting point would be down, and your ending point would be down. But on this particular motor, my guess. Truck Norris cam on this particular six liter is going to be right near a 500 horsepower cam and it's going to make more than 490 foot pounds of torque. My guess is 501 horsepower and 492 foot pounds of torque with a Truck Norris cam on a six liter. And there you have it. My name is Richard Holder. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. And my next video coming up is going to be a cool shootout between all in one video because I don't have all this information together in one video. 706 head, 799 head, uh, Recport Factory LS3 LY6 head, and a, an aftermarket, in this case a TrickFlow 225 head, all on the same motor, same day, same camshaft, same air fuel, same timing. So pick your favorite. That video is coming up.